Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I am here today to share with you my empties, low buy update, how I'm doing towards my pan your way to 5k. And this is for the month of May. I know like right now I'm filming this and it's the middle of July. I travel, international travel messed me up. I'm so far behind. But I have got to get this stuff out of my, like, out of the way. Like, it's got to go. So I've got to film this. And it's going to take me a while to get through everything. So I'm going to try to go fast. Timestamps will be down below. We're going to start with empties. And I'm going to start with makeup. Because that's always the fun stuff. Let me start with complexion. And I do have one primer. I have the Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. It's really hard to say. And this is, okay, this is a full size. I finished this. This was in my 20 and 22, 22 and 22. And this was okay. I would, I don't think you can purchase this. And I wouldn't. I, there's actually just a little bit that, probably enough for a face, but it's been sitting. And it just collected at the very base. Anyway, that's that was the consistency. And it was, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Too Faced Hangover RX primer, but I feel like that one's better. This one was okay. Not something I would repurchase. I have two sprays. I have, well, no, I'm sorry, one, one more primer for the face. I have by Smashbox the Photo Finish Primerizer. This is a little bitty mini. And I can't remember what project I had this in, but I did finish this. Obviously, it's in my empties. Wow. This is four mils. I really do like this primer a lot. I think it's very lovely. I feel like it's more gripping than the spackle one is, but it's still very hydrating, so I really do enjoy this. I really did enjoy this one. I have a full size, so, but I'm happy to get this little mini out of my collection. And then I have two sprays. The first one is by Cover FX. It's the Illuminating Setting Spray. You guys, I have been working on this for like three years. Finally, it's done. Oh my gosh. It's one that you shake up that has like little shimmer parts in it. Not something I would repurchase. No. The Glass Skin by Peach and Lily is much better. This one is much better. The other spray that I finished is by Smashbox. It's the Photo Finish Primer Water in the Earth Scent. It's this little bitty mini. This was one fluid ounce. And I do enjoy this as well. This can be used under your foundation as well as as a refreshing spray. I think I like it better as a refreshing spray. I don't know that it really does much, to be honest, as a like spray underneath your foundation. I guess if you're using a very dry foundation, maybe like matte, but I just, I would prefer to use it as a refreshing spray. So that's, that's how I will use it. I have one eye primer. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their eye primer. I hate this so much. You guys so much. I did not 100% finish this, but I'm I used like two thirds of it. So I'm calling it finished. This is, oh, I use more than two thirds. I, there's like almost, uh, I used a lot of it. This is a very white pigmented base. Very pigmented. And oh my gosh, I hated it. I hated it with a freaking passion. I felt like it creased. It just, not for me. Not for me. No. I couldn't finish using it. I hated it so much. And I don't usually like not finish products. I couldn't finish that. I was hate painting it and I was like, I'm done. No more. So I finished it. Ish. The next thing I have is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in the shade Light. So I had been working on this one for a while. It, of course, I it had already had pan previously. So there is a, there's a little bit at the sides there, but I can't get to it anyway. It's done. I love this corrector so much. Of course, now you can get it in collaboration with Smashbox. That's so Smashbox and Becca. It's fabulous. 
fabulous. Of course, I can't use it now because I've got too much of a tan going on, but I used it before I got a tan. Okay, the next item I have finished is the foundation. This is by L'Oreal. It's the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in the shade number 201 Classic Ivory. And this was also in, I think, in my 22 and 2022. I love this foundation so much. They don't sell it at Ulta anymore, which always makes me a little nervous. Like, why? Why don't they sell it there anymore? I don't think they sell it there anymore. Do they? Or maybe they do. There's one foundation I know they don't sell there anymore. Like a L'Oreal foundation. But anyway, this is bomb. Love it. We'll always repurchase as long as I can. Okay, I have one powder from number seven. I have the Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder in the shade Light. So here's the packaging, and then there's the inside. I love this powder. It's a good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, but this is a lighter shade. Charlotte Tilbury Powder in the shade Fair is like this powder in a light medium. So I, I, I need this because the Charlotte Tilbur Tilbury powder is not light enough. But I, of course I can't use this now. I'm glad I finished this because I cannot use it right now. There's no freaking way. But yeah, this is done. I love it. I will totally repurchase that. Okay, I have, let's see, two lippies from Clinique. I have the Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. This went missing for a very long time. I did not have very much left in it, and then it just magically appeared. Magically. But I did finish it. Of course, you guys know I don't go digging because I have so many lip products. But I did finish it. So yay. In my book. It's done. And then from Fresh, I have the Sugar Lip Treatment, the SPF 15 version. So I finished this guy, it's all done. As you can see, this was scraping my lips and I don't love the way this smells. It's too perfumey. Yeah, I don't love the way this smells, but regardless, it's a decent lip moisturizer. I have others that I prefer over this, but I finished it, yay. And then I have one eyeliner from Kat Von D, or well, now it's KBD Beauty, but this was Kat Von D. The Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. So I have this little deluxe size sample I finished. Was happy to get this done. It had been laying, hanging around in my collection for a while. And then I have two mascaras. The first one is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. One of my holy grails, love this mascara. I love the wand. It's just fabulous. Love it. Will always repurchase this. Holy crap. And then I have a deluxe size from Tarte. It's the light, wait, what? Lights, camera, lashes. This is a kind of a smaller deluxe size sample. They're usually a little bit bigger than this one, but this was a pretty, a pretty tiny little mini. But yeah, I got this one done. And I think that was all the makeup. So I didn't get through a ton of makeup in May, but decent amount. Let's see. There, there was a cat behind me. 12 makeup items gone. So I feel pretty good about that. So now let's move on to skincare. And I'm going to start with cleansers. So the first one I see here is by Clarins. It's the Hydrating Gentle Foaming Cleanser. This is a one ounce tube and I enjoyed this. I would not purchase a full size. I don't really like foaming cleansers. So it's not something that we would purchase. It was an, you know, for a foaming cleanser, it was not super stripping, but I still prefer a balm cleanser and then like a cream cleanser as my second cleanse and then an oil cleanser in the morning. So I'm just using these up because I have them. The next item I have is an eye makeup remover. This is by Laura Mercier, the soothing eye makeup remover. I picked this up, I think in a BoxyCharm pickup, like add on sale, whatever. And I did not love this. I would not pay full price for this. I didn't think it was that great. The Lancome Bifacil's weight is my favorite. It's much better. The Neutrogena moisturizer is better than this. Sephora is better than this. It's just, it was not a great eye makeup remover. So would not purchase, repurchase. Okay, now I think we can move to serums. 
So the first one I see here is by Sunday Riley. It's the CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. There's cat hair on it. So it's this little mini. This had, I don't know how many mils. Not very much. There's still a little bit there in the bottom. But anyway, I used, I don't remember if I used this while I was traveling or not. I can't remember. But this is a nice serum. So there's a, there's a drop. You can kind of see the consistency. It's a nice serum. I like to use these like vitamin C oils more so in the like, fall winter when my skin is drier. But at this point I kind of use them as a like second vitamin C because I don't really feel like they're that potent. I Timeless is my favorite vitamin C. So anyway, but I finished this little guy and I finished this full size of the Lancome. Well, I guess it's kind of not, not, it's not a full size, deluxe size. Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. So this is 20 mils. It's 0.67 fluid ounces. So it's not quite a full ounce. It's a nice serum. I think I prefer the, the Estee Lauder serum over this one. So that's the one that I would con continue to purchase. But you know, whenever they have this half off at Ulta during like their skin fatuation or 21 days of beauty or whatever they, whenever they have it off, half off, I'd like to pick these up because it's a really good deal and it's a nice serum. So anyway, finish that. I have this one from Solwasu, the first care activating serum. This one is in my hundred colorful empties. I know for sure. I love this serum. It's freaking fabulous. Yeah. I, I have a full size and I think it's in the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I didn't check out, but I had it sitting in my cart. I kind of want it. Anyway, it's a nice serum. Oh, I have one more cleanser. I missed this one. This is by Belief, the Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. It's a little deluxe size sample. This is lovely. I love this cleansing balm. I would totally purchase a full size of this. It's I've got a nice lemony scent, but not overpowering. It's beautiful. But if you don't like fragrance in your cleansers, you wouldn't like that. I have two toners. I'm kind of, I like to usually go in order and I miss the toners. From Tarte, I have the Knockout Tingling Treatment Toner. This is my acid toner in the morning and I love it. It's always a repurchase. It replaced the, that fancy Biolage Recharge, whatever, 1970, whatever that one is. This replaced that for me. It's much more cost effective. So I like to pick this up. I, Anytime I see this on sale, I pick it up like, like two bottles at a time. So if I see it as a discount, I pick it up because it's amazing. And then I also use this Belief Aqua Bomb Hydrating Toner. And this is a really nice toner. I don't know that I would purchase it, but I liked it. I mean, if it came up like on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty because Belief is now at Ulta, I would totally buy it. Going back to serums, I have this one full size from COSRX, the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. This is a nice serum as well. I would repurchase this. I did not pick it up during the last time it was available during the 21 Days of Beauty because I was working on this one and I have so many serums that I have in my collection right now. So I was like, oh, don't pick it up, don't pick it up. And I didn't, I passed that. I think I was like, there are already so many things coming into my collection. I, I held off because I didn't, thinking about my low buy, which has gone to shit by the way. Anyway, yeah, it's lovely serum, would recommend. Okay, some cr creams. From Herborian, I have the Bamboo Creme Frappe Skin Reviving Fresh Gel. I did not like this. I don't really think it's for my skin type, so I would not purchase. From Ole Henriksen, I have the Sheer Transformation Cream. This is a giant, like, tub. It's three ounces. Huge. They discontinued this, and I am shocked. This was like a staple for Ole Henriksen, and it's discontinued. So anyway, it's finished. I have a couple more jars of this. It's a nice daytime moisturizer. It's not super hydrating for my dry skin during the, e I can't use it in the evening, but it's a nice daytime moisturizer. 
can't believe I got rid of it. And let's see, for the eyes, I have from Belief the Moisturizing Eye Balm. It's this little deluxe eye sample. I love this moisturizer. It's fabulous. Oh my gosh, this was five mils. So it took me a while to get through. Lovely, lovely eye cream. Lovely. And then from Kiehl's, I have the powerful strength line reducing and dark circle diminishing vitamin C eye serum. I didn't really like this. I thought it was too dry. Now, I can't remember what video I talked about this in, but I am curious to try it again because I don't know if this particular tube was dry because I've heard like Valerie says she really likes this and she and I usually agree on skincare. But she doesn't have dry skin like I do, so I don't know. But I'd be interested to see that. I may have to, like, go check it out in Sephora just to see what the consistency is like, like, there, to, like, in a full size to see if it's different than what was in this tube. Because I felt like it was a little dry. I have an acid. This is by Dr. Dennis Gross. It's just a little box of five of their uh, Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel Pads. So this was kind of like, I consider this a deluxe size sample. I used all five of these. They were very, very nice. I don't like the price of these. I think they're way too expensive. So I don't purchase them. I just purchased a, an a acid serum, but they're, they're very nice. Let's go to masks. I have from Kiehl's the Avocado Nourishing Hydration Mask. This is a deluxe size sample as well. As well. It's 25 grams and I enjoy this mask. It's a nice hydrating mask. Um, I mentioned this in my 50 shades of green, how the last update, how it does not, it's not a smooth, like creamy mask. It's kind of chunky and it's just the nature of how this mask is, but I really do enjoy it. I have a couple of full sizes of this and I don't need to repurchase, but I would. Now this one, oh my gosh, it took me forever. Huh. By Lulu Lun, the Precious Red Sheet Masks. And it's in this box, it came in a box of 30 masks. It took me forever. I purchased this when I was in Japan years ago. And it's finally done. I don't think I would purchase those. They're interesting, but I don't think they're as hydrating. They're, well, I, they're not as hydrating as other sheet masks that I can get a single, like single use sheet masks. And that's kind of what I prefer to use. So I have five, no, four of the Tony Moly I'm Aloe sheet masks. So there's four here. I use these up. And I do enjoy those. And then I used three, no, four of the Pharmacy Hydrating Coconut Gel Sheet Masks. These are lovely, lovely. I love these. Like, love, 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 love. If I could have use one sheet mask, it would probably be these because they are very, very hydrating. And they just feel so nice when they go on. I love them. Love. And then one more item in my, I guess, skincare. This could go into body care, so it's a nice little segue. It's by Lush. It's their lip scrub in golden pineapple. And I did not love the scent. Mm -mm. And the scrub is okay. I think the, the ones from Sarah Hap are much better. So I would not repurchase the Lush ones. One more item. I'm sorry. One more item. This is, an, a, I guess, a serum. It's actually for the lashes. It's by Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. I had this little deluxe size sample that I used up. This had 0.7 mils. So use that up. All right, moving on to body care. So I have several items here. I have two creams. I have from Sol de Janeiro the Coco Cabana Cream. It's this little deluxe size sample. This had 24, 25 mils. I do not love this scent. Mm, it smells like popcorn. I don't like it. I would not purchase. Mm -mm. And then I have from Hemp's the Pink Pomelo and Himalayan Sea Salt Body Moisturizer. And this was lovely, lovely. Yeah, I loved the way this smelled so much. It was really, really nice. 
would totally purchase more of these, but I don't need to because I have a bunch. And then I have a sugar scrub from Tree Hut. This is in the scent Bohemian Escape. And this was floral, if I remember. Yeah, a floral scent. It was nice, but it's not a favorite, so I would not repurchase. I think this is a discontinued scent, so I don't think you can anyway. So that was the body care. And then, like, hair care and other things I have from... Not Your Mother's, the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Butter Mask. So I finished this up. This was a nice mask. I feel like there are other more hydrating masks than this, but I still enjoyed this, so I would repurchase it. I just think it's not like the most hydrating hair mask out there because I have very, very dry hair like my skin. I also have from Not Your Mother's the Curl Talk Deep Conditioning Curl Mask. Now, I like to use this like in the shower, and that's actually how I ended up using this one as well. I used both of these like as five minute deep conditioners in the shower. I have others that I prefer to use as like out of the shower, 30 minute long, like longer time deep conditioners. But this is a, this is, I think I, I prefer this one over the not your, uh, over the other, the matcha one, to be honest. I think this is my favorite, like five minute in the shower hair mask. And then I have three hand soaps. They're all from Bath and Body Works. The first one is white raspberries. And these are all the gentle foaming hand soaps, I think. Yeah. This has raspberries, citrus, bouquet, and water lily. This was really nice. Really, really nice. I think I went through like all three places where I have hand soaps. I finished all three in one month. Yeah, this was lovely. Would totally repurchase that scent. And then I have pineapple mango. And this one is fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine, vine ripened raspberry. I was gonna say strawberry, it's not strawberry. This is really lovely too. Lovely, great summer scent. Yeah, would repurchase that one. And then the third one I went through is Sunshine and Citrus. And I believe I use this one in my kitchen. Orange Tangerine, Crisp Apple, and Sugar Crystals. And this was really nice too. Mm, it's a great kitchen, like citrusy scent. Really enjoyed that one. So those were the three hand soaps I got through. And then I have two more like things that well, not these don't really count towards my low buy or anything, but two more things I have from the Karuna. I think this is Karuna, the coconut and shea butter foot mask. And then I have a tinkle razor. This is actually not a tinkle. This is by Schick, I think. Yeah, this is by Schick. It's not a tinkle, but it's the same concept. I also have some perfume samples. Now these don't count towards anything, but I thought I would share them with you. The Giorgio Armani C. Passioni. Did not love it, would not repurchase. I have two from Versace, the same one, Dylan Blue. Did not love, would not repurchase. Sorry for the cat hair. From Jo Malone, oh, I'm sorry. From Marc Jacobs, there's another cat hair. From Marc Jacobs, I have Decadence. I would not purchase. Jo Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This was lovely, not my favorite scent, but if I saw it on Super Sale, I may purchase. Versace, I have Eros Parfum, would not purchase. And for Marc Jacobs, I have Daisy Love, would not purchase. So those were all, I got through a lot of these little perfume samples. So those are my empties. So in May, I used a total of 48 items and the total value was $710. Now for my low buy, there are several things that don't count. So there's five items that don't count for my low buy. The first one is the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment. I only use this one acid toner. So when I repurchase it, it doesn't count coming in and it doesn't count when it goes out. Any hair care item doesn't count, so the matcha green tea and wild apple blossom butter mask does not count. And then also the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk won't count. The Grande Lash Enhancing Serum won't count because I just have like one of these. I just buy them as I need them. 
And the last thing that won't count is this Karuna foot mask because I just have like the original six that I purchased of these. So these don't, this, this, this does not count. So quick update on my low buy. I had 22 full size items I used, three of which won't count towards my low buy. I used up a total of 26 deluxe size items and two that don't count towards my low buy bank. So I, and I didn't mention this, but my low buy is a two out one in system. Deluxe sizes as well as sheet masks are three for one full size. They kind of count like three to one ratio. So after I do all my math, oh, I didn't have any declutters for the month of May. So when I do all of my math, I have a total of 22.8, so I'm rounding that up to 23, items that or points that will go into my low buy bank. Now, last month in April, or for the month of April, because that was not last month, for the month of April, I had five, well, it's saying 5.7, so I'm rounding to six. Six points available in my bank. So if I add the six, to the 23 and then the total value of the items that I used in the month was 710 as I mentioned the items that don't count that value is 89 and again same thing with the value it's two out one in so the value of the items available for the month of June is $310.50 but none of that is taking out what I brought in the month of May, which was a really awful month for my low buy. Really, really, really bad. Sliding backwards, guys. So we're just gonna pull all this stuff out. Let me show you what I got. Okay, I'm gonna start with a trip I made to Sephora in the beginning of the month of May. I was actually on a work trip, and so I went into Sephora with a colleague. And I just picked up a couple of things. First off, I picked this up because out of necessity, but I'm still counting it. So I was traveling, when I was traveling, my skin like looked so dry. I was like, I need a facial mist and I didn't have one with me. So I picked up the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist because I just, I needed a spray. I needed a freaking spray. So I picked this up again out of necessity and I, I I used it on that trip and then I saw this before I'd gone into Sephora and online and I really wanted it so I went ahead and picked it up it's the the Sephora favorites kit clean lash stash to go it has five samples and a redemption card for a full size of one of these so it has mascaras from Cali Ray from Item Beauty, Ilia, Milk Makeup, and Say. So I really thought this was a great deal because you get these little minis and then a redemption like card for one of them, a full size of the one that you like the most. So I really wanted this. <laughs> and then the other thing I picked up is an eyeliner from the new Gwen Stefani line, Give, I think is the how you pronounce it. And I swatched this in store and it did not budge. So I really wanted to try it in my waterline. This is the Line It Up 24 Hour Gel Pencil Eyeliner in just the, this is the black shade spider webs. It's beautiful packaging. Yeah, I, I'll show you. Like it literally does not budge. I was so surprised. So I thought I would give it a try because I'm looking for a waterline pencil that doesn't move and I wanted to give this a try. So those were the three items I picked up while I was in Sephora with a colleague. I think the next thing I probably did was shop the polish pickup sale for the month of May and there were some beautiful polishes. I think this collection, their theme for the month was Parks and like parks and natural something. I can't remember what it was, what the actual name was. But anyway, I have one, two, three, four, five, six polishes from that collection. From Great Lakes Lacquer, we have this one. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. This is Kitsch Itty Keepy. Anyway, I think it was a, like a, a 
beautiful blue lake that this was named after. It's stunning. From Moonshine Manny, I have Pawnee Commons. This is the one that kind of like sold me on the on shopping during this particular posh pickup because I love the show Parks and Rec. And I was telling my friend Andrea, I was like, you need to go pick this up from Pretty as a Peacock. I was like, you need to get this color because it's beautiful and she loves the show. I think she and I picked up several shades that are exactly the same. Like she picked up this one too. From Lemming Lacquer, this is the shade Great, no, Garden Rhapsody. I love shades like this. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. So this is the brand Leisha's Lacquer and it's, oh gosh, Pop 2.0. So this was a shade that was previously offered like a long, long time ago. So it's the new iteration of this color. And it's of course a purple. I love purple. I can like never not buy them. From Kathleen and Co. This is a shade Cherry Blossoms. This is another one that Andrea also bought. I was like, we bought similar shades. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I don't usually buy colors like that, but I could not not get it. And then the last one I got was from Garden Path Lacquers. This is Take It to the Sky. Beautiful. I also got a base coat. This is by the brand Cuticula. And I can't remember if I counted this towards my low ball. I have to check because I am kind of in need of a couple some base coats. So I picked this one up, but I think this one is scented because it says Candyland. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. But anyway, base coat. Needed a base coat. Okay, so those were the polishes I picked up. There's plenty. One, two, three, four, five, seven. So I think this was closer to, to the beginning of the month. I picked up three of these Pat McGrath and Bridgerton Collection Satin Allure lipsticks. So here was the original packaging. And I actually have already taken two of these out of the box. So the first one I have is the shade Entranced. Yeah, Entranced. So I'm sorry, here's the packaging. I think these are a little bit like, a little bit much, but the lipstick I love. So here's the shade and there we go. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. The formula is really nice. Not the same as their original Lux Trance, but nice. Yeah, okay, see? I need, I need to try it. The next one I have is the shade Nude Romantique 2. So actually, this is the one that I picked up. I'm sorry. This is the one that I picked up from Pat McGrath's website. And this was, the other two were from Sephora. So anyway, here's the shade. Totally a meat color. Holy moly. So pretty. Oh, so gorgeous. And I love that blue shade. Anyway, and then the third shade I picked up is Veiled Rose. And this one is also the same blue, like gray blue. Oh, mm -hmm. And this one's a bit more pink. They're so pretty. I love them. Love. Boxy Charm Pickup. Like Mega Drop or whatever they call it. I have picked up several things from there. All three of them are from Item Beauty. So I was kind of interest, interested in this. The first one I have is the Prime Set and Refresh Dewy Finish Face Mist. I'm a face mist fan, so I kind of wanted to give this one a try. And well, actually three, I'm sorry, three of them are from um, Item Beauty. This one is the Mood Vibes Swipe and Glow Bronzer Contour Duo in Mood Vibes. So here is the packaging and I read up on this. I'm sorry, I already swatched it. So it kind of looks a little messy, but I read about this and I, it, people were raving about it. So I was really interested. Now it's a, probably a little bit light for me right now, but oh, it, may, it may be okay. It feels really nice. And I love what this says in the mirror. 
I love you, say it back. I freaking love that. And then the third item I got was the lip gloss in Ruled By. This is a beautiful color and I love this packaging. It's a little thick. Yeah, it's just a really nice, I was kind of interested to try it. It's just a really nice pink gloss. There we go. The formula seems really nice. And then I also picked up the Elemis Superfood Magic, I'm sorry, Midnight Facial, maybe it's magic, Nourishing Sleeping Cream. Here is the packaging. Ooh, that's bright pink. So those were the four items I picked up in the Mega Drop Shop. I haven't really been buying a lot from the Mega Drop Shop. I didn't get anything in June or July. So trying to do a little bit better. Now this I picked up, I believe from Ulta because it went half off, I think. And I just couldn't pass it up because I freaking love this product. By Juice Beauty, the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Overnight Cream. This is a beautiful, beautiful like thick like cream for it's great for dry skin I love this product so there's the packaging I've used one of these before and I really do enjoy it so when it went half off I had to, I had to get it had to moving on to the weekend that Valerie came to visit me now I we talked about all this stuff in our haul video so I'm going to go through most of the stuff fairly quickly but there was a lot a lot a lot from the By Beauty Lip Lab, we made two custom lipsticks. I don't know where the other one is. I can't find it, but I made I made two. The first one I have here, I named it the Jackie Six. And this is what the shade looks like. It's beautiful. I will link that video down in the description box as well as in the cards. So you can see hear us talk more about the about the process because I've already we've already gone into detail about what that was like so that's that shade and then you can also see the swatch of the other shade I made which was purple rain yeah I don't know where it is it's somewhere here my house is eating products it's somewhere anyway two lipsticks from bite beauty and then we went to Sephora as we were waiting for these to be made and had a field day at the Ilia counter so we got or I should say I got several items from Ilia. The first one I have is the Colorblock High Impact Lipstick in the shade Rosette. I think Valerie and I both picked this one up. And here is the packaging. Ooh. And this is what the shade looks like. There we go. Gorgeous. I have the Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm in the shade Memoir. And by the way, here, I'm sure you guys have seen the packaging for Ilya, but that's what that looks like. The packaging is really pretty. And here is the component and the shade. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's so weird. My skin is so dark. I don't know what I'm doing. I grabbed the Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Linger. So I don't know why. I don't need to show you the box. Here is the product such a nice product oh my god the lip oil is like luxurious oh it's so nice oh it's so nice i love it i love this color and i also grabbed the soft focus finishing powder now this one kind of blew me away i don't usually buy powders i like i buy mostly loose over pressed but this kind of surprised me and i'm very excited about it so it's Here's the packaging and it's a translucent powder. This is nine grams. So excited about this. And then the last item I picked up is the, oh, I'm sorry. This actually, I forgot to mention this. This I actually purchased during my trip, my work trip at Sephora. This is the multi-stick, Ilia multi-stick in the shade At Last. And this was what prompted us to go to the Ilia counter because Valerie wanted to pick one of these up. This is a really lovely product. So here's the component. And then here is the product itself. And she ended up picking up a different shade. But there's that one there. It's so pretty. And I mean, there's not a ton in here, but I bet you it'd still take forever to get through. I mean, I shouldn't say that because it's a wide base. 4.5 grams. 
Now, the Ilya stuff came with a gift with purchase. So it came with the lip wrap hydrating mask. So it came in this box, but it's much smaller than that. It's teeny tiny. So the lip mask. It also came with the Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. So same one I purchased in that darker shade, but this is a shade Tahiti. So here's what the shade looks like. There we go, right there. Really nice. And then the third item in that, it was in this bag here. Lovely neoprene bag, lovely. That's what prompted us to buy all this stuff. The Ilia uh, Limitless Lash Mascara. So it came with a deluxe size sample. This is the black shade. I think this is a smaller sample. It's three grams. So that was all the Ilia. And I think that was everything that I picked up from Sephora. Yeah. And I missed this one. This was also from... BoxyCharm. No. Yeah, BoxyCharm. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty, whatever, Epic Kiss Nourishing Vegan Lip Butter Lipstick. So, of course, I've seen these at Ulta and I've also, and Sephora. And I think there was the gift set during the holidays, which I did not pick up. And I've even seen the gift set at TJ Maxx. But I've stopped myself from picking them up because... I don't need five more lippies. I mean, there's a lot more here. But anyway, here's the shade. It's more of a fall shade, but there we go. Whoa, I am way off my game. Traveling and being out of the country has, I'm, 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 off, I'm off my game. I'm gonna have to take this off because there's more stuff to swatch. So once we left Sephora, we left the mall. We then went to TJ Maxx. And there were a couple of things that I found at TJ Maxx. Not a lot, though. I found this Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Cleanser. And I think this is a newer cleanser that Milk Makeup has come out with. But there were a ton of these, which makes me wonder why. But this has two ounces. So not a ton of product. But anyway, there it is. It's bright yellow. And I also found the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. And I really do like this product a lot. So I saw it there and had to grab it it was 17 so like half off and here is the bottle and the cleanser was eight dollars now something i had picked up from tj maxx a long time ago i was actually going to gift this to valerie she ended up finding it at her TJ Maxx, so she didn't need it. So I was like, well, I guess I'll keep it. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it. It's still packaged, so we'll see. Because I have so many of these. This is the reason why. I have several backups of this. But it's beautiful. It's by Elizabeth and James. It's the Nirvana Rose Perfume. And it's a one ounce. This is a lovely perfume. This was $17. This is normally a very, very expensive perfume. It's lovely. Anyway, I still have it in this packaging. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to keep it. I still I counted it. So if it ends up leaving my collection, then I will take it out as a point, like as a declutter. But yeah, I just... So the next thing we did is we went from TJ Maxx to the CCO and found many 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 things there oh wait i'm sorry two more things from sephora i exchanged scent certificates that i forgot to mention so one of them i got juliet has a gun and vanilla vibes so this is a giant bottle it's 3.3 fluid ounces this was from the vanilla best of vanilla i think sampler and this bottle is beautiful. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's a lovely perfume. So grab that. And then I also picked up, a, I had a scent sampler for this too, or a scent certificate for Ellis Brooklyn Salt. Now I think they have changed all their packaging, but here's what this one looks like. Beautiful blue color. So yeah, so that's all from Sephora. Now, moving on to the CCO. Found a lot of things. Several lippies from Bobbi Brown. 
There are, I think I have two of the nourishing lip colors. And the first one I have is Rosebud. Now I believe this is the one that Valerie was wearing when we were together and it was lovely. So it was funny that she was wearing it, she was panning it, and then of course we saw it in, in the CC, at the CCO. There's the shade, beautiful. I didn't show you the packaging, I don't think. There we go. And the second shade I grabbed was Rose Petal. There's that shade. I love this formula so much. Bobbi Brown has like some of the best lip formulas. And then I grabbed one of the crushed jelly, crushed shine jelly stick. This is the shade Candy Apple. I have a couple of these and I really do love the formula. So here is the component and then you click the top down and pull from here. There's the shade. So it's more of a balmy product. Mm -hmm. You want to be careful to put it in the right end. And then I found one from Tom Ford that I was so excited to find. They have, my CCO has not had Tom Ford lippies or like decent ones in a very long time. So this is the lip color matte in the shade Vervain. And these were, ended up being half off. Oh, of course, beautiful Tom Ford packaging. And here's the shade. Lovely, lovely. Mm -hmm. Probably more of a fall scent, fall shade. Both Valerie and I picked this one up as I fall out of my chair. From Estee Lauder, the Pure Color Desire Rouge Excess Lipstick in the shade Sweeten. I had never, I've never seen this packaging from Estee Lauder. It's really lovely. And there's the shade. We grabbed the last two of these that were left of the shade. And of course it's fancy magnetized. Lippies, lippies, lippies. I also found one blush from Clinique, the Cheek Pop Pearl in the shade Garnet Pop. I had never seen this pearl version and this shade is really pretty so there's the packaging and the product itself so it's very light blush it's light especially on my skin tone right now because I'm so I'm so tan but there we go beautiful the two th last two things I purchased were perfumes both by Jo Malone the first one is orange blossom and anytime I see Jo Malone half off, I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't think it has a sentence on here, but this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, so good. And then I also, I have never heard of this scent before, Yuja Cologne. And this one I had sprayed on myself and it was lovely. I'm just gonna spray it on right now. It lingered, oh my gosh, that smells so good. Mm. lovely that is lovely I love that nice fruity scent I love it now we did get two freebies because we spent over a certain dollar amount we were able they gave us two freebies the first one is by Estee Lauder the revitalizing supreme global anti-aging power cream so it's a full size this is 1.7 ounces so yeah here we go Nice freebie. I think that is now discontinued, which is probably why it was a freebie. <laughs> Hush! And the next one I have, the second freebie we got was by Origins, the Mega, Mush Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Toner, I think. Soothing Treatment Lotion. But it's I think it's more of a toner. Yeah, it's liquid toner. So, yep. Good freebies. Now, I did forget to mention a few things. From Sephora, we both picked up the Floral Street like little perfume sampler. This has one, two, three, eight scents here. And we were both really uh, just blown away by this brand. My perfume guy t t gave us kind of a little story about this brand and we both like immediately fell in love with them. And I saw this at the checkout line. Valerie had already picked this up and I was like, 
So I grabbed this one. And I forgot to mention from TJ Maxx, I grabbed the Skylar perfume set. This was $10. I love a lot of the Skylar perfumes. So yeah, pick this guy up. These don't count towards my low buy because I don't count these going out either. So they don't count coming in. And then I also picked up from TJ Maxx at a different time, this BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Avocado Toast Palette. I originally was not really interested in this, but I've been really getting into green eyeshadow. So this is now kind of up my alley. And then Valerie, who was with me, she was with me at the time. I picked this up whenever she and I were together. She loves this palette. She talked it up. So I went ahead. I was like, okay, I'll grab it. So here is the palette. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Swatched. Okay, there we go. Sorry for the really wonky swatches. But there's the palette. So pretty. And I've been wanting some green mattes. So I feel like that did a good job getting me some green mattes to play around with. Now, before we went to the CCO, we actually went to AOA Studio or Shop Miss A, and I picked up three things while I was there that are makeup. I picked up two of the Lumi Radiant Blushes. So the first one I have here is Sin. Now these are super radiant, super, super radiant. <laughs> we'll see how these work out. I mean, they were a dollar. And then I have the shade Wine. Now, these were recommended to us from Misty. She loves these. So we thought we would give them a try. And there's the shade Wine. They're very lovely. I just have not tried them on my face yet. And then I actually picked up a cream blush and I'm super excited about this. This is the Cream Sheer Blush in the shade Hush. And again, this was a dollar. I'm, I, or maybe, is this Cupid? Is this the Hush Cream Sheer Blush in, I don't know. I think it's the shade Cupid. So there is the blush there. And let's just sheer this out. It's pretty pigmented. So anyway, got those three things from Shop Masse. Now, the last few things I have, I placed an order when this came out from Sephora. So this is the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream. As soon as this came out, I was like, add to cart and check out right away. I picked up the first shade Laguna 01. I was so excited to see this come in stock. They brought this back after the, I think it was a like special limited edition release of the original Laguna. So here is the, I already swatched this as you can see the first shade. Now this is too light for me now. But most of the time, this would be an appropriate shade for me. It's just not an appropriate shade for me right now because I am so tan. You can't even see it, but there it is right there. It's too, too light for me right now. Two weeks in the sun. In the shade. 100% in the shade, but two weeks in the sun. And with that came a sample. So I picked up this Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is one of their perks. I think it was like if you spend a certain amount of money you get this so I picked this this little sample up this next item came into my collection because my mom texted me and said that she had a like $10 Nordstrom note like gift card gift certificate you know their Nordstrom notes that was expiring and she wasn't gonna use it on anything. And she said, did, did, did I wanna use it? And I was like, well, I'm not gonna let $10 go like goodbye at Nordstrom. So I just went onto Nordstrom's website to see what they had. And this had gone out of stock at Sephora. And I was like, oh, I kinda wanted it. So I went ahead and picked this up. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Multi Glow Beautifying All Over Glow Highlighter. Here is the gorgeous packaging. I mean, look at this, it's beautiful. I have not even swatched this, you guys. It's pristine. Well, let's do this. Let's get it all. Oh, 
that's pretty. It's too light for me right now, but it's very pretty. Too light for me right now. But it's gorgeous. I wonder if I focus a bit over here, what happens? Yeah, no, it's still too light. Better, but still too light. I was so excited to be able to get this. Now the last one is super exciting. I picked up this Cleona palette, the Dragon Fruit palette. Now I just got the palette. I didn't get anything else. I was interested in the highlighters or at least one of them. But by the time I got onto the website, they were already sold out. So it was fine. I did not need another highlighter. But yeah, so I picked up the first palette that I think Cleona's done, at least this collaboration. Collaboration with Emily Violet Marie. This is gorgeous. I've already swatched it. But here's the palette. And there are a couple of multi-chromes in here. All right, so there are two sparkle shadows. That is Effervescent and Infusion, which is this shade here and this shade here. Two duochromes, which is Hilo Cirrus and Fruit Fizz, which is this shade and this one here. And then four velvet satin formulas, strawberry pear sweetened, catasea, <laughs> and prickly. Let's just say strawberry pear and here's another one the this the one i cannot pronounce the dark purple one and sweetened is this one so those are all of the velvet satin formula there's three that are the met metallic formula and that is refresh dragonfly and exotic so refresh um exotic is this one and dragonfly is this one dragonfly the two multi-chromes are bubbles and dragon teeny so the first one is this one here and then dragon teeny is this one so this is the two multi-chromes so i will get to swatching there's the entire palette swatched I cannot do my wrist straight. <laughs> I forgot how to YouTube, guys. Anyway, there it is. It's beautiful. I could not pass up, like, the first, like, collaborative palette by Cleona. Couldn't do it. And it also came with this, like, lookbook. Of different shades, different ways you can wear the palette. So those were all the things that counted except for the perfume samples. Oh, Lordy. Now, I do have several, like, gifts that were shared when Valerie came to visit me. She's been, she talked about this product on our Nightmare on Panning Street project updates. And I was like, I'm going to buy that. And then she bought it for me. This is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in Sunlight. I was so excited when I saw this. So excited. She found this at her TJ Maxx. This is the, or maybe it was Marshall's, I can't remember. But it's a, a like quad of the Laneige lip sleeping masks. And hers was on like clearance. So she, she, she got this on a really good deal. Oh, this was so sweet. We were talking about this palette during one of our get togethers. And I thought it, I thought it was a different colored palette, but it's actually a purple palette. And so she brought it. She's like, I don't use this. I'm just going to give it to you. It's the She's in Parties palette by Milk Cosmetics. So sweet. She's used it, but I didn't care. So here's the, it's gorgeous. Sweet. She found this like quad of COSRX products. The, it has the low pH good morning gel cleanser. The AHA BHA clarifying, clarifying Treatment Tonic. 
the advanced snail mucin essence that I just finished. And the last item was the oil-free ultra moisturizing lotion. So this was like a little four pack mini. And then she ha found a duo of these, of this particular product for ridiculously cheap. It's the Estee Lauder Advanced Not Repair Serum. I freaking love this serum. And so she gave me the other half as a gift. It was my birthday in the month of June. So this was like birthday stuff. So I think two more items from her. I have from Empire Alchemy, a sugar scrub in the shade Lu Lavender Luxury. Scent, not shade, scent. Lavender Luxury. I don't think it tells me what the scent notes on this are. But this is a lovely scent and I introduced her to this brand. Oh, that is lovely. So yeah, so she brought this for me, so nice. And then the last thing I have here is from Milani. This is the Fruit Fetish Coconut Lip Oil in Passion Fruit. And we both love the Clarins Lip Oil but she had heard rave reviews about the ones from Milani, so she brought this one for me. So anyway, those were like gifties. Thank you. I have some items that don't count. These are like subscription boxes or other things that I got. So the, the first things are a few hair care products that I got from Ulta. It was the same day that Valerie was, Valerie was visiting me, but, and, and we stopped at Ulta like in between CCO and dinner and I needed some shampoo. So I picked up the pattern hydration shampoo and I also picked up a shampoo and conditioner from not your mother's the blue kale and pure coconut water weightless hydration shampoo and conditioner. And I'm almost done with the two that I have in my shower now in this. So I needed a backup. One more gift. This was actually from my friend Danny. If you guys don't know, you know who Danny is. Danny's makeup. So anyway, she gifted me this Tom Ford quad. I think this was gifted to her and she is not a fan of the formula. This is in the sh uh, shade Honeymoon. I'm so excited. This is so beautiful. There is the quad. I mean, this is more of a satin formula. So if you don't like satin shades, it's probably not going to be your cup of tea, but it's a really nice, like work appropriate color story and formula. Love that. Thank you, Danny. Put it back in its bougie bag. Okay. And then the rest of these are from like subscription boxes and stuff. This came in a Scentsy Whiff box, which was in my club. This is the Scentsy Body Cream and Make a Splash. This is a nice scent. I don't like love it, love it in wax, but it's a really nice scent. So happy to try it in the body cream. This one I picked up in, I think either, I can't remember if it was Fab It Fun or BoxyCharm, but regardless, it doesn't count because this is a like, a special super special you know, I don't need any more of these but this does not count another gift from Valerie I forgot about this one it's the Dior addict shine lipstick in the shade Diorama oh this is a good one this is a really good one it was hiding this is a refillable lipstick now I don't think we have figured out how to refill it I guess you would just refill this maybe there's the shade Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, please. Gorgeous. This was purchased in one of those as well. It's a replacement Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. Does not count going in, does not count going out. And I can't tell you if this was BoxyCharm or Allure. I'm assuming these next few several are from BoxyCharm. The Milk Dew pH Balancing Moisture Milk Toner. Sounds very interesting. With vegan prebiotics and prickly pear extract. I like me a toner, a good toner. Looks interesting. From Ahava, I have the Dead Sea Mineral, I'm sorry, Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. This is the Cactus and Pink Pepper Scent. I know this was from BoxyCharm, the item 
Beauty Air Hug Concealer. I think this is the one that I chose. You can see I already opened it. Shade number is 200. And here is the packaging and the shade. Looks nice. That was definitely a box of charm. From Mud Masky, I have the Vitamin A Booster Blue Clay Mask. So I'm not usually a Mud Mask fan, but I thought I would try it. From Benton, I have the Aloe Propolis Soothing Gel. Hmm. Aloe Vera Rich in Polysaccharides and Propolis Extract, well known for its soothing properties. This soothing gel leaves skin refreshed and hydrated, which is what sold me. Apply a suitable amount to face and softly pat until fully absorbed. So there we go. And then let's see, from Studio Makeup, I have the Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Serum. So it's just a clear, but that's a really boring, boring packaging. Okay. And then lastly, I have two minis. I'm sure this was from Allure. This is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. And then the last item I have is by True and Luscious Super Moisture Lipstick in the shade Vintage Rose. Here's the packaging. I think I'm pretty sure I swatched this to see if I would want to keep it. It's pretty, pretty color. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. So I did cancel my Allure Beauty Box and I think it goes into effect in August because I was like, I've got to do something. So the number of items that count towards my low buy, the total is 52. 52 items. Total value of the items purchased was $883. So with my low buy book bank, I am at a negative <laughs> 23. And my value that I have available for me for next month is at a negative 372. Not doing great, not doing great. I'm just gonna have to like not buy anything for a month <laughs> or two. I don't know when that's going to happen. Anyway, okay, so that's where I am right now. Moving on to, I'm not going to belabor the point because we know I'm sucking right now at the low vibe. So moving on to the pan your way to 5K. So I'm going to scooch over and show you what my, my little charts here. So for the month of May, I mentioned this before, I used a total of $710 worth of stuff. So the breakdown of that was skincare was $378.50, Makeup, $225. Bath and Body was $58.50. Hair Care was $18. And then other items, which included the like foot mask. No, not the foot mask. I'm sorry. The hand soaps. And uh, I, think, I think it was just the hand soaps. But that's all that totaled the $710. You probably have already seen the grid of all the stuff. But I will show you a chart of my May empties and the categories and what it looks like here. Then I will also show you a chart of the breakdown for January through May of uh, the different categories that I have and the breakdown as well. So, so far I have for January through May, I have used a total of $3,499 worth of stuff. I don't have a, I should not have a problem getting to 5,000 for the year, but my, one of my big goals is to hit 2,000 in makeup. So right now I am at $1,160.50 at the makeup. So I'm well past the halfway mark, like five months into the year. So I'm happy about that. So I have a lot of work to do on my low buy. We'll see how it goes in june i know i have a pretty decent amount of stuff in my box but i haven't calculated everything so we'll see 
but yeah that is everything for this video it's an hour and 45 minutes long hopefully it is not I, I can edit it down and it's not so long for you guys to watch <laughs> but that is going to be it for today thank you so much for watching hopefully you're doing well and staying safe please hit that subscribe button and i will see y'all next time bye hey guys welcome or welcome back i don't know how to do my intro hey guys welcome or welcome back i am here today mm -mm. I didn't say my name. The next one I have is an eye maker. And then during the, but, mm, during, <laughs> and it's, oh, it's not. It's not my, it's an ice cream truck. Pain your cake. Pain. Pain your K. Please hit that. <laughs> okay, bye.